Ladies and gentlemen, this is my game of the year. Spider-Man 2 is a 10 out of 10 for me out the get-go. This darn game right here almost made me retire from gaming. That is right. That is how difficult this game is. Out of all the games I've played this year, which have not been a whole lot, this one right here challenged me the most when it comes to can I get this done and can I conquer this game. The boss fights in this game alone are a reason why this is a 10 out of 10. And also the combat... The combat is so, so unique and challenging, but it's rewarding. It takes the combat from Spider-Man and Miles Morales and combines them into a picture-perfect formula. You're not going to be able to just bust button mash in this game like I had originally thought. If you do not parry on time, or you do not dodge on time, you will die a lot. And trust me, I died a lot. If I knew how to have a die counter, I would put it on the screen. But it's a lot! And then, the graphics. Oh my goodness. These graphics are hands down the best graphics, period. New York looks so, so beautiful. The water looks super duper realistic. The buildings look phenomenal. Hell, even the, the underground areas look great. The school looks great. Every single district looks great. The lighting in this game is just mwah. Even the explosions look fantastic in this game. One day, I was enjoying this game so much that I had to turn the brightness down because it was giving me an eyesore. That's how great and fantastic this game looks. Now, for the story... <laughs> Spoiler alert here. Okay? Spoiler alert, so if you have not seen or played the game yet, do not watch this video throughout. There was one point in the game where I had thought Peter Parker was going to die when he got stabbed. I shed a tear. The last time a video game made me cry was The Last of Us opening. Both game and TV show. But the story of this game is just wonderful. It's pretty much Miles and Spider-Man Eventually trying to take down not only Kraven, the hunter, but save Harry Osborn from himself. Who eventually gets a hold of the Symbionites and turns into Venom himself. And speaking of those Symbionites, those damn things were annoying as well. Just... Everything about this game, guys, is just wonderfully crafted through the gadgets, through the suits, everything. I can't say enough about how fun and exciting this game was. If it wasn't for the fact that I was complete trash at this game, I would go back for a secondary playthrough. But that end boss fight with Venom... Mm. I just can't for a while. I just cannot for a while. <laughs> and watch the two post-end credit scenes for this game, guys. Because it tells you a lot about what's going to happen with a potential Spider-Man 3 in Spider-Man DLC. Also, really quickly, my... Best friend, 
Dustin, who never plays single player games, beat this game and had an easier time doing it than somebody who does single player games on a regular basis. That right there shows you how great this game is. I'm done rambling. Go buy Spider-Man 2. It is game of the year. If you like this video, make sure to smack this video with a like and sling web the subscribe button. And if this video takes off, I will do a top five hardest bosses of Spider-Man 2 because trust me, these bosses were hard AF. Oh, and here's a little bit of a hot take here. I prefer Spider-Man's abilities over Miles Morales because Spider-Man's abilities, at least when it comes to boss fights, are a lot more easier than Miles Morales. Peace, guys.